So thank you so much for coming in. You're welcome. Um, I know you've had a really interesting experience um, using neurofeedback, and I, I would love to just hear a little bit about it. Well, the reason I started, I had met Dr. Sherry uh, as a former, we were both parents of rad children. My daughter, who was 12 at the time that she started neurofeedback, um, was in the foster care system, and I adopted her when she was very young, and a lot of adopted kids and kids from the foster care system have RAD. Dr. Sherry had also been a foster parent and completely understood RAD and knew how to deal with that. And it stands for Reactive Attachment Disorder. So the child just has a lot of issues of, of trust and being able to attach to a parent. And so we, she also had ADD, and, which is Attention Deficit Disorder, mm -hmm. and was on Adderall. So when I met Dr. Sherry, and we had so much in common with raising kids that were rad, that kind of thing, and uh, I found out she did neurofeedback, I was like, oh, I'm signing up my kid. So my husband and I talked. She had been on Adderall for two years. We did not want her on any drugs at all. And Dr. Sherry, I, when I asked her about the neurofeedback and how did it work the best, she talked about a clean brain and explained to me what that meant. You know, without eating sugar and all this kind of stuff, you know, that's really bad for kids. So my husband and I chose to take my daughter off Adderall and then we started neurofeedback sessions in the summer, last mm -hmm. summer. She was 12 going into seventh grade. And when she started the school year, she did it without the Adderall and the neurofeedback helped her in all kinds of ways. Uh, her behavior changed drastically as far as from, she used to get stuck in the back brain, we call it, where they're in the fight or flight mode and very defensive and just angry and um, that improved drastically. And then the attention improved drastically. So we've just seen huge results with neurofeedback. That's awesome. So she, um, you said a little bit about the uh, temperament. What was, what were you seeing that, that sort of pushed you? Your, Previ your yeah, previously it? she would have a meltdown, temper tantrum fit like a two-year-old would have when they don't get their way. Mm -hmm. And she was 12. And uh, tons of anger and fear would be coming out. So that is completely, I mean, maybe once every three months when she was, hormonal and just, you know, had a meltdown kind of like some <laughs> young teenage girls do. But, uh, but yeah, no, it was all the time before and mm. now basically not at all. Um, what behavior or uh, benefit that you have seen from neurofeedback did you see that you didn't expect? Probably she gained self-confidence and she knew that if wow. she did her, she could see that um, consequences and results, you know, like if I actually do my homework and turn it in, oh wow, my grade is better. She would see things like that. Mm. So I think that came from neurofeedback because she sure had no clue about that before. Yeah, was it just straight reactive before? Like, I don't wanna do my homework and... <laughs> yeah, and I don't I care if I get I did it that. out, who cares? <laughs> I did that. Not good, not good. Awesome, all right, well thank you so much for chatting with me. Thank you, I appreciate it.